originally from Pennsylvania, came here to go to law school at St. Louis University School of Law. Uh, finished there and uh, went into uh, court administration as a part-time gig before I went in the Army. When I came back, I was with the Public Defender Bureau for a while and then in private practice. And that practice sort of led me to intersect with municipal courts and folks involved in municipal government. As I had more interaction with them and the more I respected and learned from them, uh, the more I was interested in it. And then the opportunities came to start representing cities from time to time. I just find great joy in the chance to aid folks who are so dedicated to their neighbors and so earnest about their commitment to their neighbors that it's a privilege to be part of the team. There are some projects that have been dynamic and have been uh, economic uh, drivers, uh, and those are wonderful, and they have long-term consequences, but there's also neighborhood disputes or uh, difficult issues that, that folks are trying to wrestle with, and the chance to help them navigate through that is, is a real privilege. I represented the city of De Pere, and they had uh, the re, uh, redevelopment of West County Mall. It was a huge economic development. In Hazelwood, another longtime client of mine, uh, we had a redevelopment of the entire Missouri Bottoms area uh, involving a mall for, uh, as well as an industrial development. Brentwood right now, another client of mine, has just received voter endorsement to undertake a massive redevelopment effort and flood uh, abatement effort along Manchester Road and the, uh, the southeast portion of Brentwood that's going to remake that area with trails, parks, a new economic development opportunity. To be in this arena gave me the chance to argue in the U.S. Supreme Court. There are only about 175, 150 cases a year that get there, so that was a remarkable experience. The fact that an organization like East West Gateway Council of Governments and, and the people involved in that would consider what I do to be worthy of recognition is an incredible honor. I could never have done this uh, without my wife and my family and their incredible patience. I continue to learn so much from the hundreds of volunteer elected officials who serve their neighbors and from the thousands of professionals who work for the various communities that I've been privileged to represent. And their, their amazing dedication, just trying to do the right thing and do the best thing for their neighbors and their community is inspiring and satisfying.